Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video we'll be installing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Plus Soft Mod, we'll be adding the needed images and software we need to replace the default Android menu, and I'll be showing you a new piece of software called Button Mapper that we'll use to exit back to our home screen when we've finished a game. I first learned this software trick from a Valix V's channel. I've linked not only to his channel, but also to the video he first shares this exploit. Please head over to his channel and check him out, check out his video of this exploit, and leave him a like and subscribe to show your support. This do-it-yourself guide was intended to stand alone and give you all the steps needed to do the full soft mod on the Simpsons Arcade 1UP cabinet. If you've followed all of the previous videos and you'd simply like to add the exit button then please feel free to skip ahead. If this is the first time you've visited, then you're going to need to have an SD card and wireless keyboard mouse combo and we'll need to take off the back of our cab and plug in both the SD and the wireless keyboard. With our SD card and wireless keyboard mouse combo plugged into the back of the cab we'll need to press the Windows and N key at the same time on the keyboard to bring up the Android submenu and with the submenu pulled up we'll need to grab the center expansion tab and pull it down so we can have access to the setting icon. At this time we'll of course click on that settings icon and this will give us the main system menu. Our first step is to format our SD card. To do this we'll need to navigate to the storage option and select it. Once it's selected we'll need to format this as a portable device. Formatting can take a minute, so please be patient, and when it's done click on the eject button and remove our SD card so we can move to our computer, and then we can add the needed software and images. It's now time to obtain the required software, and I've got a link in my description that will let you download all the image files I've made and two software files. One called Nova Launcher and another called Button Mapper. You'll also need to get a file called TMNT plus a1up.apk. This file I'm unable to provide to you, but I can tell you that this file was leaked anonymously to Arcade420 who has shared it with us. Please make sure you visit the Internet Archive and thank Arcade420 for sharing this APK with us all. With that said once you have all the needed files extract them from the zip file. I'll be using the zip utility 7-zip, as it's free, and very powerful, but please feel free to use any that you like. When you transfer the files over, simply place them in the root of the SD card. I've also placed the .xcf file in this zip, but you'll not need to transfer that. I placed that file in the zip for those of you that enjoy image editing. I personally use a free program called GIMP for all of my image editing. It has a great DIY community, it really seems to be just as powerful as Photoshop, and I figured if anyone wanted to check it out this may be a fun way, as it costs nothing. Please feel free to check out the .xcf file out. If you want to learn more about GIMP you can find tons of videos on YouTube showing you how to do almost anything you can imagine an imaging tool do. After we've transferred all the needed files to our SD card we'll eject it, and we'll move back to our Simpsons cabinet. Once we're back at our cab, with both our SD card and wireless keyboard mouse combo plugged in and ready to rock and roll, we'll once again press the Windows key and the N key simultaneously to get our system submenu, and again once here we'll grab the center tab and pull that menu down exposing the setting icon. We'll click on the settings icon as we've done in the past and we'll navigate back to the storage area. Here, in the storage area we'll find our SD card with all of our files, and we'll get started by installing all three of the APK files. We'll first install Nova Launcher, and this program acts as a front-end manager, and really gives us a nice environment to work within. After Nova is done installing we'll move over to the TMNT Plus APK. This APK will install all of the new games for this mod, and give us a base to launch those games. The final APK that we'll install is the Button Mapper APK, and this is what we'll use to exit back in our home screen. Now that we have all the apps we need installed, it's time to copy over the wallpaper and icon image that we need to our internal storage. 
If you want to try multiple wallpapers, then please feel free to press Ctrl and click on each image you want to copy to the cabinet's internal storage. After you've selected each of the images you wish to make copies of, navigate to the Pictures folder on the cab's internal storage and paste the images. If you wish to save the internal storage space you can also only copy the single image you wish to use. You must also copy the transparent icon. You can identify the transparent image as it will look like a solid white image, and it will have the name icon 1.0. In short when it comes to images you must copy over at least one wallpaper and the icon image. After you've transferred the images over, I always verify that they're in the right folder, in this case it's simply labeled as pictures, and they all seem to be there. If you wish to transfer only one image at a time, you can grab that image as you see me doing and manually drop it into the internal pictures folder. As you see me doing to the transparent icon at this time. Again, please remember that you must have the icon image and at least one wallpaper for this modification to work. We'll now start setting up our software and we'll do this by navigating to the applications and notification icon and opening that menu. Once this menu is open, scroll down until you see the Nova 7 launcher and click on open to launch the application. With the application launched, grab anywhere on the menu screen that's blank and use your mouse to scroll down. Once we're closer to the bottom we'll find options to hide different actions that we don't need for our build. Deselect all of the actions, as we don't need them, and tell Nova that we'll also not be needed a menu bar. Once you're done scroll to the bottom and click on the red check mark to close this setup area. This will take you back out of Nova and you'll find yourself back in the Simpsons environment. We'll now need to get back to the main system menu, and we'll need to configure a home screen. To do this, click on the default apps icon, then click on the home app icon, and this action will take us to an area that gives us the option to pick a home app. We'll need to select the Nova 7 option that you see in the middle as our home app. This will tell the Android operating system to launch Nova, and in turn Nova will manage our operating or kiosk environment, helping us have access to our games in a clean manner with the native hardware. We'll now highlight the remaining icons on the wallpaper and tell the system to remove them, as we don't need or want them on our menu. We'll now need to set a home wallpaper. To do this click anywhere on the screen and hold it down. A new menu will pop up and we'll need to click on the icon that says wallpapers. Once this is done we'll have an option at the bottom left that says, pick an image that we'll select, and that action will present a gallery icon in the center top of the screen that we need to click on. After that click on the picture folder on our internal storage and select the wallpaper that you want to use. Remember to click on the set wallpaper check mark at the top left hand corner. Next, we need to place an action for each stock app on the desktop. To do this first, I'll place an action for the right side of the menu, in this example it will be for the Simpsons stock app, and we'll be telling this action to launch the A1UP APK, as this is the app for the stock Simpsons software. For the left side we'll again pick an action and that action will be to launch the TMNT Plus APK. Feel free to play around with the action placement on the screen. After placing both actions on our menu screen is done, we let it both of our actions by removing the name of the APK and telling Nova to use the transparent image we've provided and unselecting the reshape option. We need to do this with both sides of the menu, again we'll simply tell Nova that we wish to remove the APK's name, we'll also tell Nova to use a transparent image, and at last we'll tell the system not to reshape the icon.
We now have a great looking way to select our games, but as most of you may know we've had issues with exiting this mod back to the home screen. To fix this we'll need to configure button mapper. To do so we'll need to open our system submenu once again, and navigate back to the app and notifications icon. After we've opened our app and notifications icon, we'll need to find a program called button mapper and we'll need to open it. Because it's the first time we've opened button mapper, we'll need to confirm its permissions, turn its services on and complete its basic setup. Make sure you turn button mapper services on and click allow as this app will need to run in the background and if it is to reprogram and repurpose hardware it can only really do so with its requested level of access. Once the basic software is set up, we'll need to set up one of our buttons to return us to the home screen. To do this we'll need to click on the add buttons icon, then the blue plus, and then we'll need to press the physical button we wish to use to exit. I'm going to use player 4's start button, and I'll program it to only activate if it's pressed and held down. I'm picking this as it works best for me, but you can experiment with any buttons you'd like. After we've told the system what button we wish to use, and how we wish to activate it, we'll need to tell button mapper that when we do activate the action, we'd like the action to return us to the home screen. I do want to point out that this does not close out the program that you were using. It simply forces the APK to the background. That said it does let us exit, and it is simple to use. Please don't be concerned if this is the first time you've seen this menu, as we have to set permissions in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles plus APK, as this is the first time we've launched this app. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and found it informative. If you like this content then please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. It really helps the channel grow.